Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow right now down 20. NASDAQ is flat. S&Ps are off three. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve does an outstanding show here every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great news that a mastering probability. Now, the way you get mastering probability, you come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under featured content. Bottom line is that you just hit the click here button. And bottom line is that you can subscribe. You can subscribe for one month, six months, or a year. One month out here in Mastering Probability is $149. Six months is $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. A year, folks, is $1,195. You save $539 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. And you got to remember that our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, is the market timer of the year of 2018, and he's still, I believe he's still number one or number two. I mean, yes. this, is, this has been, man, you got you got to run in a half here, man. And folks, this is so hard to do, man, it's insane. Were you number one or number two this morning, right? I was, uh, so I'm number one for the last three months and six months, and okay. uh, there's a guy that uh, that we kind of be, we trade places, yeah, right, it seems right, like, right, you right. know, we go back and forth, cool, but, man. but it's it's been great, you know, it's been a two, it's been over two years now that I've held that number one slot. Now, from the time period that they began tracking um, uh, Mastering Probability, so so it is pretty cool, um, and, uh, but, but uh, you know, it, it is a lot of hard work out there oh yeah but but you know look tom nelson mandela once said education is the most powerful weapon which we can use to change the world now you and nelson have something in common you see you've created the platform that allows us to educate traders and investors from all around the world and for that i say thank you i know that we each say thank you i mean Really, Tom, if it had not been for you, I would not have been able to become the market timer of the year. It all began uh, because because of you. And, oh, listen, and I remember you the, the first day standing up. You, you get a picture of this, folks. It's a master trader class. And I say to Steve, well, how do you find us? He said, well, I heard, I heard you on the air. And as in one of my friend's cars, and he had lost money, and I, I'm a good fundamentalist, but these stocks are going down. I want to know what's going on. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I, you know, when, 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 you, um, when you're a fundamentalist and, uh, uh, and you're holding good stocks, we've all seen it, and you wake up the next morning after earnings, you know, everything looked pretty good, and then you get a 20, a 30, a 40, a 50% haircut, you want to know why, right, <laughs> you know, or, right. or what is it that I could have seen on the chart to have understood understood that risk reward uh, scenario out there. So the cornerstone of mastering probability that newsletter this newsletter is really all about education. So each morning I'm sharing with folks exactly what's been going on in the market overnight, what to be looking for. We use tools like the Rhodes momentum indicator which helps us identify tops and bottoms. We use the A to B equal CD pattern. We use a TD9 count pattern. We use wave number 7 of the Chapman wave. We use a, a number of different tools out there. And one of the things that you and I have discussed um, over the last uh, many months out here is the annual seasonal cycle. Yes. And over the last 86 years, that's the, what we're looking at out here, folks. And the reason why I thought it would be apropos to just bring it up for today is because typically what we see, and this is for the Dow. So this is a study for the Dow. It goes back 86 years, averages each day. And that's what these lines represent and the dates that are on them. They're the average period of where we've seen market turns. Well, today, is uh, October the 11th, October the 13th, uh, October 14th, October 13th is typically when we see a bottom inside of the Dow. Now we use these more as a guideline versus, you know, just to the day, but oftentimes we do see the just to the day out here. So if we go back and explore the last nine years out here, this is what I want to share with folks. So okay. if we go back to 2010, <clears throat> the Dow formed its seasonal bottom in September. And it did it with the uh, TD setup nine count. So I've got an arrow here that that points to that. And it's an easy tool. This I teach to subscribers, I, uh, folks that listen to the radio show uh, each day out there. And oftentimes when we see nine consecutive, either closes closes uh, to the bottom, closes that uh, where each close is a lower close than the close four sessions earlier. That's how we accumulate these nine count patterns. 
And a nine count pattern is what identified the bottom back in September of 2010. So we use a guideline, the September, October ish time frame, really August to uh, September, as a time frame to start looking for bottom signals inside the Dow. Now, what I also use to generate these signals is I use the Dow Equity Futures contract. So what we looked at that there over 86 years was the actual Dow Jones cash indice. The, the Dow Equity Futures contract hasn't been around that long. But all of my tools and patterns, I'm really looking at the futures contract. If we look at 2011, it formed its seasonal bottom time in September as well, and it did it with that Rhodes momentum indicator signal. That's where price moves lower, does with less relative energy. We wait for some type of bullish reversal candle, and voila, that formed its bottom. If we go to 2012, the actual bottom didn't form until November. But when it did form, one of the patterns that you talk about in the art of timing the uh, trade was a Gartley buy pattern. And in a Gartley buy pattern, we've got an A to B equals CD. It's usually going against a trend that has been running in the opposite direction. So as we take a look at 2012, we can clearly see that. It generates a bullish reversal candle out here, and that cements the bottom. If we take a look at 2013, this formed a bottom, a seasonal bottom, back in August with a TD setup nine count pattern out here. And then in October, October of 2013, what we saw was price pull back and test that breakout area. This is a red horizontal line, and that cemented the bottom. If we take a look at 2014, in 2014, it formed a seasonal pattern, the Dow Equity Futures contract in October. It did it with a butterfly buy pattern out there. Again, an A to B equals CD. That's an expansion of a set of swing points out here, uh, in this case here, 1.272. So it makes a beautiful butterfly buy pattern. If we take a look at 20, I don't know why 2015's not here. It should be here, but uh, oh well. <laughs> so if we take it's a look right. at 2016, yeah. uh, the Dow formed its seasonal bottom with wave number seven. Um, you know, I can see I've got the wrong turret out here. Son of a gun. You know oh well. Wild, man, those you know those, those be, things happen. No, you know it's going to be wild too, is that so we're, we're right at these dates, folks, is that and earnings season is starting. So, I mean, this is going to get intriguing, man, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I, you know, absolutely. Yeah. So, banks so, are so, going to kick it off tomorrow. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, no. So, 2017, there was never... A, uh, any kind of seasonal bottom. The, the market just kept going up, but these levels of support, these red horizontal lines, uh, were never uh, broken through. But there was no pattern that I teach okay. uh, that helped us to identify that seasonal pattern. And in 2018 out here, uh, the Dow formed its seasonal bottom in October. It did it with a Rhodes momentum indicator uh, pattern out here. And um, uh, here's an A to B equal CD to the downside as well right. in 2018. And what I really want to get to right now is where are we at right now? In 2019, in August, the Dow Equity Futures contract generated that TD setup nine count bottom. And in October, and it was on October 4th, price pulled back and tested a breakout level of this TD setup nine count. Now, price is trading in between support and resistance. That's 25,919 in the Dow Equity Futures contract and 27,262. So we're in this consolidation, but we do have a valid bottom signal that we would typically see from a seasonal cycle in October. Pretty wild, man. And yes. listen, folks, real easy to get his newsletter. Come over to our website, that TFNN. You're going to go into featured content. You're going to get our master probability right there. Check it out. One month, six months a year, all come on a 30-day money-back guarantee. Steve, you have a great one, safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.